Hi guys. Yo, 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 what's up? Welcome back to Shop and More with Kimberly and Santos. Yeah, yeah. So in today's video, we are doing our sensational Saturday for the yep. week. Mm -hmm. um, for those of you that are new to our channel and don't know what Sensational Saturday is, it's a series that we started um, on our YouTube channel, uh, I'd say about a few months ago, and it's basically what we've been wearing throughout the week, and we wanted to share it with you guys, so yeah. Seems like a lot of you have been loving our Sensational Saturdays. So, yeah, that's why we're, you know, continuing to do this kind of video. Yeah, continuity. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, um, if you're new to our channel, welcome to our channel. Um, we do all things fragrances um, from Bath & Body Works to reviews to um, store walkthroughs at Bath & Body Works. And we'll sprinkle in some, like, cooking videos and, like, home decor and stuff like that. Um, so if you love all that, we hope you stay and subscribe. And for all our returning subscribers, thank you so much for clicking on and showing your continued love and support. We appreciate each and every one of you guys. So yeah, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. Yeah. <laughs> so for Saturday of last week, I wore Forever Red. Yep. And then I paired it with a Violet Plum. Yeah, um, a Forever Red has notes of fiery pomegranate, red peony, rich vanilla rum, and oak wood, and violet plum. This is an older scent. I wish they would bring it back. Um, it came out in 2018. It has notes of soft violet petals blended with plum, uh, sugar plum, and sheer woods. Um, I think these two make a great combination because this kind of reminds me of violet plum. A little bit. I mean, it, it reminds me of Forever Red. Is what <laughs> I, I went to say. Violet, bro. <laughs> talking about. I know, right? Um, this set was gifted to me um, by K Girl's mom, and I absolutely love Forever Red. This is an older bottle. I think it was the 2021 version. Yes, it was. So this one is uh, way stronger than the re-release. Uh, but this one is a beautiful, sweet pomegranate with some mm. deep peonies. And that vanilla rum just makes it a little bit uh, sweet and just girly. And I just love everything about it. And then pairing it with this, this is a sweet floral as well. And yeah, I think it just makes a great combo. It's just a nice and sweet and girly and a little sexy. So yeah, I absolutely love this one. Um, I do need to finish off uh, Violet Plum because it is going bad uh, fairly quickly. So yeah, but that's where it. That was Saturday. All right, my Saturday was. Blueberry Bunt Cave. <laughs> I love this one here. This is such a great smelling. It's like, it smells like the oldest Bunk Meyer blueberry muffins to me. Oh, yeah. This one has harvest blueberries, honey drizzle, and fluffy cake. Mm. I like the fact that even though it smells slightly cakey, it's not too cakey for me. I love this one. And look at that packaging. I like the way the packaging looks on this one, too. You got the blueberries with the light drizzle all over it. Then you got the same thing for this one. It's got like the drizzle on there, like the icing drizzle. I like the packaging. Let's see. This smell. This one's mine. So. Oh, it's doing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it smells like a straight up blueberry muffin. Yeah, I've, I've used it a few times. I don't go crazy the way Kimberly does, but I drenched myself. I put a little dent in it so far. <laughs> That's how I, I that's how I go through my my fine fragrance mist fairly quickly. It's my clothes are wet when I am done spraying myself down. No lie. <laughs> she be all like, yep, like just nonstop, and I'm like, <laughs> Kimberly. Yep, because I'll spray my skin first when I'm naked when I get out the shower, and then I'll put my clothes on, and then I'll spray my clothes down. Yeah, that's how I go through my stuff so fast. And a lot of you guys um, have asked me, how do I go through my products so fast? And that's how. And then I, I reapply throughout the day. So, yeah, I love this one. Blueberry bunk cake. Uh, this one is. This one's whose? This is mine. That's yours. mine. We that's share it. Though. Using it. That's fine. <laughs> 
Sharing is caring. Yeah, I like that one. So that was my Saturday. All right, so for Sunday, I wore Cozy Vanilla Bourbon, and this is the very first one that they brought out, which was last year. And I paired it with the uh, Fenty Skin. And this one, everybody went crazy over. It's the Butter Drop um, Warm Cinnamon, and it has a little bit of shimmer in it. Ah. Oh. This Fenty Drop, um, it has a beautiful shimmer when you apply it. It makes your skin nice and dewy and glowy. And it just looks absolutely gorgeous. But the, the freaking fragrance is so good. It reminds me of the, um, the cinnamon butter at Texas Roadhouse, which is phenomenal. And I do want to get some from Walmart. They do sell it at Walmart. I think it's like three something for like the little, the little, um, container of butter. And they do have the, uh, the rolls, uh, at Walmart as well from Texas Roadhouse. But yeah, this, this reminds me of that butter. And then I applied this on top, the cozy vanilla bourbon. This has notes of warm bourbon, dark fruit and vanilla liqueur. And the reason why I paired the two is because Cozy Vanilla Bourbon does have like a little spice and warmth to it. And this has some spice and warmth because of the cinnamon that's in it. So I think they pair beautifully together and uh, it's so freaking good. I absolutely love this combo. Yeah, I uh, think that pairs well. The smell of both of them together. Yeah, and the Cozy Vanilla Bourbon that they brought out this year is not as good as this one. We did a review and comparison. I will link that video down below. But yeah, if y'all have this combo in y'all's collection, try it out because it is so freaking good. I love it. So that was Sunday. Sunday, I wore Gingham OG. I like Gingham OG. This one smells so good. I don't know what the keynotes are. Uh, I think it's like Clementine, Blue Freesia. Um... What else? She know. She gotta know. Uh, I know it's Clementine and Freesia. And I'm not sure about the other notes. Whoa. It's like a long list. <laughs> but at least I know two of them. <laughs> yeah. That's really good. I love this one. Yeah, I think it does have a bunch of them, mm -hmm. a bunch of uh, keynotes to it. doesn't have it on there because I just have the small bottle. So I just sprayed myself a little bit with it. I didn't really go too crazy. Uh, we had conference this Sunday, so I was just chilling at home. I didn't really go anywhere. So I just sprayed myself a little bit with this one just so I could smell good at home. <laughs> so that was a simple, simple. Simple day. Simple, simple day. <laughs> All right. So for Monday, man, I've been going ham with the scent. Um, I actually need to slow down because I have no idea if they're going to bring it back, if they ever bring it back. And I only have, I think, one more fine fragrance mist and one more body cream and a body butter in my collection, along with a shower gel. So I kind of need to slow down, but this scent is freaking fire and I cannot get enough of it. So I wore... Um, Midnight Amber Glow. Yes, I did. I wish they would have came out with the full-size perfume in this one, but they didn't. They only came out with, like, the full collection of the body care plus, like, the travel perfume, which is crazy in my opinion because this scent is fire. It has notes of smooth amber, caramel latte, and vanilla bourbon. Ugh. I cannot get enough of this scent. <laughs> it's so good. Ah, it's very intoxicating, warm, vanilla, latte, bourbon, going out, sexy, date night, Netflix and chill, fall, perfumey. I mean, I got so many adjectives. It's so freaking, ah, it's so good. Yeah, so get this on Macari if you don't have it. If you love um, a latte, caramel, vanilla, bourbon scents. I think you'll absolutely love this one. It is very perfumey and long-lasting, and she projects and creates a beautiful scent bubble. This one is awesome. 
Yeah. I can't speak I enough of this one. So good. <laughs> you know what? Oh, Monday. Monday I wore Girlfriend. I like Girlfriend. This is a nice Halloween, Halloweeny one. Mm -hmm. It's got that little picture of the, the little girlfriend on there. Girlfriend. The ghoul. <laughs> <laughs> This one's got like berries, strawberries, uh, stra dark strawberries, and ghostly peony ghostly and peony. Uh, spine chilling citrus. There you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love this one. Uh, such a dark strawberry with some kind of like a dark peony as well. I've been liking this one over all of them lately. I don't know what it is, something about it. I've been vibing with it a lot. I've yeah. been spraying this one a lot on myself. Because your go-to was vampire blood for like mm -hmm. the Halloween and fall and stuff. But yeah. now you're into that one this year. Yeah. <laughs> Changes. Yeah. As I said, it just depends on my how I'm feeling. Yeah, your uh, mood. My mood. Uh, I don't really go like according to... Seasons. Seasons and stuff. I go more about how I feel. How I'm feeling. And that's how my scents go on me. I, I tend to go for like the seasons and my mood. So it's both for me. Huh. Yep. So for Tuesday, I wore, here we go with this one. <laughs> uh, so on my skin, um, after I showered like the moisturizer, I went in with Wild Madagascar Vanilla. This one has notes of Wild, Ma Wild Madagascar Accord, African Pear, and Wild Jasmine. Can y'all guess the rest? <laughs> and I went in with Pink Obsess. Y'all are probably thinking, wow, do those two really go together? And yes, they do because Pink Obsess and Wild Madagascar Vanilla kind of have the same DNA to our noses. Go figure, right? And on top of that, I went in with the Valentino Donna Born in Roma, Roma perfume. This one has Jasmine Sambach, uh, vanilla bourbon, and another note. But it does, Pink Obsess does remind me of Valentino Donna Born in Roma. So I think these two are a perfect match. And then applying this on top is just such a beast you know combo is very loud and uh perfumey and a sweet sexy fragrance yeah i just cannot get enough of this whole combo i mean i absolutely love it so yeah <laughs> get you some of that girlfriend <laughs> that was what your tuesday yeah that was tuesday oh my tuesday Okay, yeah. My Tuesday was Vanilla Noir. I like this one. I like this is all I have is the spray. So I was just kind of chilling at home another day where I was just chilling at home doing things here at the house, taking care of things here. So Vanilla Noir, I like this one for me, and it's got that. I think it's oh. too like sultry for me. Is it? Yes. This one has rich vanilla, bergamot spice, and patchouli musk. It's the patchouli and the spice that makes it too sultry. Too much for you? Mm hmm I like it. I mean, it is a great scent, but not for me. For me, for you it is. I like the way it smells on you. I like the way this mixes with uh, noir. Yeah. With regular noir, the original noir. And I was going to pair it. Well, I actually forgot, so I just ended up wearing this one, and like the next day, I was like, "Oh, I forgot to pair it," so I just ended up wearing the Vanilla Noir. It's a great scent, though. I love it. You could have pour, pour, uh, pour. You could have um, pulled out your body cream to uh, Noir and paired them like that. I'm probably gonna do that next time. Mm -hmm. I'll probably do that next time, so that way I can mix them up together. Do you have a Noir um, cologne? No. You don't. Oh, so you could have put that on top no, too. I have but... the body spray and I have the lotion. Mm. Oh no, the body cream. Yeah. Yeah, you could put so, those two together. I think they'll go really good. Yeah, I'll mix them up next time. Because I think that Noir has Noir has vanilla in it. Yes, it'll it does. Sweeten it up a little bit. Yeah. 
So for Wednesday, I wanted to wear something gourmand and sweet. So I went with one of my faves. It's my tried and true scent. This one is strawberry pound cake. Yep. And, um, I'm trying to finish off this body cream. I am like almost done. I have like maybe one or two more uses. So I think that's why I wore it um, for this week. Uh, strawberry pound cake. I think this packaging is so freaking cute. I love the bottle. And um, this one has notes of fresh strawberries, golden short cake, and whipped cream. And the body cream has the same notes. This one came out in 2022, but it needs to go like as soon as possible. I mean, it still smells nice and cakey and strawberry. Oh, it's so freaking good yeah, in the body cream. If you cream. don't use it, I'll use it. <laughs> but I do have backups of, you know, strawberry pound cake because it's so good. I have to have it in my collection. But this is a, it smells exactly like a strawberry pound mm. cake. You get the strawberries, you get the cakiness, you get some creaminess from that whipped cream. Oh, cream. oh it's so freaking good. And yeah. I get tons of compliments with this one. People are always saying it smells like cotton, cotton candy, candy on me, on my body chemistry. So yeah. And it does project and it does last and it does create a beautiful scent bubble, which I'm always looking for when I wear fragrances. Because I love to smell it all myself. Ah, uh, so good. Very gourmand. That was Wednesday. My Wednesday was Midnight Blue Citrus. Love that one. I yeah. gave it to you. Yeah, she <laughs> gave me this one a while back. And mm -hmm. I just started using it, like really started using it. And I put a little dent in it so far. Mm -hmm. And see how I've, I've been using it. So I don't know the keynotes to it. Mm, I'm not too familiar with this one. I know it has citrus in it. <laughs> yeah, it's got it's got like um Is it mango citrus? I don't remember. I'm not sure. If I find it, I'll put the notes on the screen. But I think it smells good on me. Yeah, I think it does have mango. I think I smell mango. Mango, citrus, and something else. I don't know what it is, but it smells good on me. Ah, uh, nice and fresh and aquatic and citrusy. It's so yeah. good. Great one. Mm -hmm. Midnight Blue Citrus. I love the candle. Oh, yeah, that's right. They had the candle right. Yeah. That's right. Good it's, stuff, good stuff. I always wanted Bath & Body Works to make it in body care, and they finally did. <laughs> what, last year? And then I ended up getting it instead of you. Yeah, I wanted the full size and body care, but I never got around to getting it. So, And then yeah. I got the mini for free, with I think, with the Miller's coupon. And I ended up giving it to him because I never wore it. Go figure. Yeah, I do. <laughs> so for Thursday, um, since I received a full size fine fragrance miss for my birthday, thanks to um, Ellen, um, I wanted to wear the mini. So I wore uh, Water Lily Springs and then I paired it with the body cream. Oh my goodness. It's so good. It has like lilies and... Some aquatic, like some clean waters. And I think clean musk, I think. I think that's one of the notes. Mm. Oh, but it's such a beautiful aquatic with some daisies. And this one is very perfumey. It's so beast mode and long lasting. And it reminds me of a high end perfume. Very like clean and fresh and like right out the shower. And yeah, I absolutely love it and it does project and it creates a beautiful scent bubble. So yeah, I cannot get enough of this one. Um, even though it's technically fall right now, it still feels like summer here in Texas. It's still like in what the nineties. I think next week we're finally getting a cold front, which is going to be in the eighties, which is not really a cold front for us. It's like a cool front. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, that's why I was able to still wear this one because it's still hot outside. So yeah, love it. That was my Feels Thursday. Good to me though. <laughs> it's still hot. I'm still sweating. My Thursday was stone wash. I love this one here. This is almost as good as the leather crafted. Uh, leather crafted. I always get the name. You're gonna say leather and brandy. Yeah. <laughs> I always get those two mixed up. 
This one has fresh ginger, blue chamomile, and distressed denim. Oh, that's good. I love the mm. denim in that. You gotta get you the body cream in this one. Yeah, I gotta get the whole... I want the whole set for yeah, this one. Yeah, even wash. the cologne, too. I would love to get the whole thing for this one. This one's really good. Stone mm -hmm. washed. If you guys don't have it, check it out. See if y'all like it. I mean, if you like it, I suggest you get it all. Because this one's a great one. What does it I'm smell like? It. What does it smell like to you? I think it's the chamomile hits me. The the chamomile. Yeah. And, and you got that slight ginger in there. And you get a lot of the denim. Yeah, it's like a fresh, a little spicy. Like, uh, almost like a clean pair of jeans. Yeah, basically. Like almost brand new pair of jeans. That's what it kind of reminds me of. Clean, fresh. With a little cologne vibe. A little, little muskiness to it. Mm -hmm. Slight cologne to it. So yeah, love this one. Stone washed. I love that one out of the two. <laughs> All right, so for today, which is Friday, I I haven't... I've been wanting to wear this one, but I keep forgetting I have it in my collection. So I, I spotted the body cream um, in my drawer. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and wear it since I spotted it. So I wore Beautiful Day. And I think this packaging is so freaking pretty. Even though it's faceted, I just love the color scheme. And I love how it has that ombre. I think it's so pretty. And I'm almost done with it. So I'm trying to finish it off. I do have a backup in my collection. Um, it was the re-release of this year, and I think it was an online exclusive, I want to say. So, yeah. Um, and then uh, here is the new one from this year where it has that hideous window. <laughs> Remember that? The gravestone, gravestone. like Liz Lizzie said. <laughs> But this one is such a fresh apple scent with some daisies. It has notes of sun-kissed apples, sparkling castes, wild daisies, pink peony, and fresh woods. And this is another one that smells very perfumey and it's long-lasting. It projects and creates a beautiful scent bubble. Yeah, you get hit right off the bat with that perfumey mm. fresh apple. I forgot how good that one is. And then it mixes beautifully with those daisies. And then you get some peonies. I think you start getting it on the dry down. Yeah. And as far as the fresh woods, I don't get any woodsiness. It's just those other notes. And I do kind of get like a sparkling um, element. I guess that's coming. Yeah, from the uh, sparkling cassis. But yeah, this one is so freaking good. So yeah, this was my Friday. Love it so much. And it does last. My Friday was pumpkin swirl cake mixed mm -hmm. with vanilla bean noel body butter. I went ahead and sprayed myself all over with this one. Then I put this all over myself. I like the vanilla bean noel mixed with this one. It's just the sweet on top of sweet. And this one isn't like super sweet. So this just kind of enhanced it a little bit. I think you should apply the body butter first, body butter first, and then it went in with the spray. Yeah, I tend to do that the other way for some reason. That's I always forget to do that. Why your scent spray myself? That's why your scents sometimes don't last. I think I don't put enough of it either. Yeah. Because uh, you put like hell a lot. <laughs> you know what the trick is when you apply your body cream, body butter, or body lotion, apply it to your skin and make sure you don't rub it in right away and then put your spray on top of that so that way your spray has something to stick to on your skin. So make sure it's not completely dry. The pumpkin swirl cake, this one has pumpkin spice, caramel toffee, and creamy vanilla. Yeah, it's that caramel toffee for me. It's so good. And when I first smelled this one, I wasn't really fond Ugh. of it. I, I was like, mm, I don't know. Mm -hmm, but then, like, same. the more I smelled it, the more it grew on me. Mm -hmm. Then I was like, okay, wait a minute. It's, now I kind of like it. The more I'm smelling it, the more I'm smelling it. Yeah. I started liking it now I'm wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, me too. So, yeah. Went from eh to yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad I picked it up that day when we picked up Blueberry yeah. Bunk Cake. Yeah, same line. So it's the same line. Mm -hmm. It's got the same kind of type of packaging, you know. But yeah, this was a great combination. I love the way it still smells good on me. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I can still smell it. 
And uh, Vanilla Bean Noel has notes of uh, fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel sugar cookies. Wait, warm caramel sugar cookies, whipped cream, and snow kiss musk. I read it for you because it's so hard to yeah, read. Yeah, I, I didn't even see that. <laughs> oh, but this one is so good. And I am almost out, but I do have two backups in my collection. Uh, this is the one that came out last year. I had to get backups because they did a right last year. Oh. Uh, and this one doesn't have the um, the glitter in it, which... I'm glad. Yeah, I'm not always fond of the glitter. I typically wear, like, the Glotions during the summertime. I like to put it, like, on my chest or, like, my shoulders or arms or legs. It depends on what I'm wearing. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I hope they do her right this year because this one smells like warm sugar cookies that came right off the oven with a drizzle of caramel. This one yeah, is yeah. freaking fire. If you love gourmands, you got to get this one. Oh. So, yeah. Yeah. Vanilla Bean Noel. <laughs> Vanilla Bean Noel. So freaking good. I I hope they don't disappoint. Yeah. This that year. Was it. Yeah. But, yeah, make sure y'all give this video a thumbs up and let us know what y'all wore throughout the week. We would love to know. And don't yeah. forget to subscribe on your way out. And we'll talk to you guys in our next video. Y'all have a great day and night. Bye. Love y'all. Don't forget to be nice. Bye.